Our kids are just like public school kids, except more of them have lower income. They have a kind of sort of possibility of a dream that they're afraid to speak out loud because they don't believe they can really achieve it, and so you don't want to have broken dreams, so you don't dare hope. I probably wouldn't go to college if I wasn't here. Probably just be working, trying to make it for the rest of my life. Hard work. So I think one of the expectations that we have is that we can keep talking with them and helping them articulate their dream. The corporate work study program has an amazing impact, and I think it has the most amazing impact on the students who go out into this world and they see that they could live in that world, they can work in that world, that they can reach out and be a part of that world. Going to work uh, each week helps me realize what it's really like after high school and just kind of what your expectations are for after you're finished with academia. We start our school day at 7.30. The workers are dismissed to go to work. They get their lunches, board the buses, and go off to work. In the meantime, the rest of the students start class at 7.45, and they don't get out until 4. So they have a longer school day than typical high school, and then we go to school a longer school year. That's how we make the difference with that one day a week being at work. It's important because it pays for our education, and without those jobs, this school wouldn't be affordable to most kids here. We're a small school and everyone gets to know each other more. I feel like we get more one-on-one -on -one attention. To me, this school means forming who I am, trying to figure out what kind of person I'm going to be um, and how I'm going to go about becoming that person later in life. They just provide so many opportunities because of them. I figured out the college I wanted to go to. They got me on college visits. They specifically helped me with certain scholarships specifically for me. I see a lot of seniors leaving and they're getting scholarships and all of them are getting accepted into college and that's where I want to go. After high school, the uh, things I want to study are astrophysics, astronomy, and celestial mechanics. I want to study engineering, like electrical, architectural, and chemical. Since I formed a relationship with God because of this place and I've become a new person and positive and the young lady I've grown to be, I'm going to be an engineer. We have had five classes graduate at Cruiser Ray, Kansas City, and in those five classes, as in today's seniors class, 100% of the students have been accepted to college. But the national average for low-income kids is 9%. So we believe that part of what we're doing is changing urban America. Everyone pays something and everyone makes a contribution. But in a Cruiser Ray school, nearly half from 40 to 50% of the income is raised through grants, it's raised through friends that we make, and it's raised through events like Dancing with the Stars. So in our role at Cruiser Ray, we want to be that bridge for students who have no resources. And so we ask the people who have resources to share from what they have to make a difference in the lives of those kids. The donor money has given us a future. It's put people like tutors in our lives, people that, that actually care about us. The reason I could pay for half of my sophomore year is because of a donor. If it wasn't for a donor, I wouldn't be here right now saying this. Donors are the reason we have the iPads, the reason I can do research, scholarships, applications. Crystal Ray is giving opportunities to some people who might not just have them, and they're helping them move forward in their life. We all win when more kids have a good education.